Uh, here we go, part two. I didn't realize it was going to be this long. So yeah, you can see it's... Just, I'm not sure how the levels scale for difficulty, but clearly we can call this system broken. I just really want to see... Oh, whoa, oh. Let's see how far I can get. Well, okay, here's the main problem. Your Tamagotchi girl is in trouble. Hmm. I can spend 30 energy to clean. I guess I can't feed her yet? Alright, well the game wants you to do this. I'm gonna try it. Sanitize. Okay. I think I can go a little further. She has one heart. Basically, I'm not sure what happens, but I don't want to let it happen. Take a battery. Alright. So yeah, how long you take in each layer also affects how quickly she gets hungry and apparently voids all over her terrarium. Because, what's a toilet, right? <laughs> she sure doesn't know. So yeah, that's the thing. How far you can go is limited by her survival. Since your prime directive is to make sure she survives. And um I know there's there's a story sequence where she gets sick and you have to fix it, which involves a lot of activity. And I think that you can just instigate that. And apparently he needs it to get trophies, so let's see if I can make her sick. Well, damn, this new one. Oh, that'll go really well with that vacuum move. Let's that now. Yeah, you can see that as useful as my techniques are, getting silenced really doesn't do much to me. Suicide! What's that one do? Oh, that's actually contaminated! And it's not bothered by it, so that's a good source of contamination. We'll just hang on to that. It's hard to get that purple resource. Slam! That is satisfying, I gotta tell ya. Oh! Punk. Oh! Nice dodge. Of course, I'm, again, mildly annoyed that I messed up that one level because I would have had higher evade. But, you can see, even with no invade enhancement, dodge a good amount of time. 15%'s not bad. So let's see. That's a knockback. You don't want to use that. Shit. I actually don't know if that helps. To tell you the truth, because now that I think about it, it's only going to get stunned if it tries to attack and it doesn't do that. And you can see I kind of got a little off course chasing that when I really shouldn't have bothered. So, looks like there's one more room. Oh, biogel. Biogels are a good item to just eat when you find them. They're not super good to carry. They don't turn into much resource. They don't do much. It's kind of like just running into a mini refill in other games. Although, when your inventory is empty, obviously you'll hoard them. I think there is a perk that makes it so they don't give you a status effect. Not super top tier in my opinion, but again, a lot of these strange passives flesh out a build in ways you might not expect. Don't care. I really don't care. Okay, so going down one more. She's still alive. Slam. It's getting tougher, but it doesn't matter much. Oh, what? What double attack? Oh, ooh. See, bit one's great. Because you just damage everything in the room slowly, but no. Double claws, too. Nice. That's what I thought, so I missed one with the second hit. See, if it's orange, it's kind of gotten shitty. 
Like, this would get me away, but it'll get infect me with glitch. But I think I go with the resources. Yeah, I want the blue. Inorganic. So, I'm gonna swap this. And I think batteries... Oh. Oh, batteries are more organic, huh? See, it's a hard choice. But whatever. Don't lose too much time over it. Did not expect this to last over an hour. So when I get to the point where I'm editing videos down, obviously I would make like a 10 to 20 minute video out of this. But again, this is still me kind of practicing the video. And uh, I'm thinking about streaming on Twitch or something like that. This is the version where I only get feedback if I get comments. I guess I'll slam this one. Yeah, suicide is an auto kill. There we go. No? Yeah, they got tougher. Got a grenade. Knockback bomb. These kind of suck, because, like... I mean, yeah, sure, knockback can be cool, but... When you're trying to chase something, you don't want to push it away, so I tend to use it just to finish something that's almost dead. What? Inflicts slow. Huh. Actually, yeah, I'll use it. Because... I don't need... that much vampire. I have a bunch of perks for it. Ooh, it's got the resource I want. See, I gotta start thinking about that, because at some point I'm not gonna continue. really just dish whatever has the least rating for that. So you want to have some toolkits just in case, but... I'll take the risk. Drop a toolkit. As you can probably always also tell by watching. Uh-oh. I'm having trouble walking? Oh! You move slow, but I, I'm not sure how to so figure it out. So I have slow infect inflicted on me. Ooh, yeah, see, that's hard to choose. I'll take the defense boost. Caring about your energy becomes more important. What the crap? Damn, I'm unstoppable. So I okay, that puts them to sleep. Play with it for a minute. Okay, that's nah. You know, I just gotta say from a gameplay perspective, that's way too annoying. It might do something cool. Like I think it puts them to sleep, but oh, extra turns. I'll just use it. That's mostly a battle item, but being able to move faster than everything on the level in relation to the enemies and the timer actually kind of useful. Not that I've ever really had issues with the timer. You almost always have time to unlock the whole level. Later. Oops. I like the first yeah, I'm being a little sloppy because I know they can't really harm me, but I shouldn't have let that get first strike. That's the danger, too, is you get really strong and then you suddenly get way stronger, you're gonna be kinda in a spot where they might take advantage of you not really paying attention. Oh, she's down at half a heart. Alright, I, I wanna see what happens. And if you're into this game, I mean, obviously, if you've gotten this far in my Let's Play, you're interested. This game is rather affordable too, you know, I'm, I'm not sponsored by anything. Uh, I just gotta say, this was worth the like 20 bucks I spent on it. And I think a lot of people are going playing it on the Switch, which makes sense, because the Mystery Dungeon games were on 3DS and DS. I uh, just kinda moved from 3DS to PS4 at some point. And I'm not 
super planning to get a switch. Damn, they got Shin Megami Tensei 5 on there. I hate to say it. They got me with that exclusive, you know? But I gotta say, if I just had suddenly a wad of cash, that's not the first place it would go. I try to get my PC running so I can edit videos! Yay! We'll get there. Yeah, trap evade. You've probably noticed that the traps can be somewhat inconvenient. And that really means mostly when you're suddenly in a group of enemies to step on a trap. Which does happen. So being able to not set them off is pretty cool. I really haven't found too many perks that are useless. They're just, you know, some are better than others. Alright. And yeah, I haven't let one of those guys get away yet, but it's really annoying when they grab an item and run. It's a random item, so it's probably not going to be critical, but there's times... Oh, perfect! I was hoping that would happen. Damn, too bad I don't have that clear move, but... Alright. Hit everything. Wait, do I have... Buffs? Nope. All passive. Slam. Damn yo, that did the job. Oh, okay. See, this is really cool, but you no longer have the perks attached. Your like, regular attack will no longer be useful. <laughs> I would build around it if I got it early on. Yeah, I'll take a re <coughs> repair boost. <coughs> Excuse me, I broke out a little. Clogged. Well, shit. Oh, I got gravity back. Let's just slam it again. <coughs> Surprised I didn't lead to a level. Oh, you could just keep slamming it. Fuck this. You're dead. And yeah, you can see I burned low on energy, but definitely not HP. Oh, I leveled at 30. And I got the trophy for that. I thought it was the layers. Huh. I misread. Well, we're still gonna see how deep we can go. Trap it in. Okay. Gonna be a lot of bio drills, so I'm just gonna use them. You know, they seem primarily to be an HP restorer item, but in all actuality, they're more of an energy resource item. Yeah, don't need that, don't need that. See, it's more fun to run into a monster house when you have inventory space, obviously. Whoa! I got warped. Trap of did not work. There is also a trap reveal, uh, I forget what it's called, but it gives you a random chance to unearth or locate the traps when you enter a room. You know, let's just eat the battery. <laughs> so yeah, uh, perks that improve my energy economy at this point are becoming more critical. Okay, I've uncovered all the rooms. The exit's over there, so let's eat that move. I tend to like to leave items behind in case I need them later in the level, but if you're not going to come back to the room, just use them for whatever. Okay, bombs are super super important. I'm questioning whether I want to hang on to the contamination kit. Keeping that for the resource. Don't need it. Don't need it. Turtle mod? What's that one do again? Yeah, I just like... To use that, you would have to... Um, make a build that was all about counter attacks, so you could have a bunch of perks that like counter poison or counter hit. Or passive attacks. 
It'd be kind of tricky. Ah, I'm sorry, that's just not useful. Okay. And the turtle mod's worth more of what I want? Yeah, okay. That's very important. You know, I probably don't need all these mods. But they're worth what I want. Uh, okay, they have different levels. Toolkit. Toolkit is not what I want to swap. As bombs are important. See, it's like I, f I wish I could get to the next level so I could pop a potion in the slot. Right, what's it worth? No, that's what we're using anyway. Um, you know. Eh, we'll get rid of that. So yeah, I could totally use some more inventory slots, but you're at the, uh, oops. You're at the mercy of the RNG there. Okay. Just, there are places where you can't avoid walking over traps if you want to get through a certain passage. And the ability to <coughs> dodge them activating is pretty useful there. Oh! There's a bottom level! Well, no shit. I guess we're learning together, okay? <coughs> so, you keep your food. That's gonna have to be used immediately. Now, normally, I like to take a still pick of my uh, build before I finish the level, because otherwise there's no record of it, but that was, for the record, my strongest build I've ever made. I got that trophy, we're leveling, oh, there we go, there we go, did I do a good job? Yep, plus four organic, and a reasonable amount of everything, getting one contaminant, one, one contamination resource, that is actually very difficult, so that was a really good run. Yeah, so I guess I'm just going to take care of things here. She survived. She definitely needs to get fed. Okay, the AI is not complaining. So yeah, she likes strawberries. And it's got three days left, so it's not too... it's not rotten or nothing. Oh, she's hungry. Here you go, honey. Yeah, and I mean, it's kind of nice. You got the... It's like the waifu terrarium. I mean, no, you know, I'm not trying to suggest anything sexual. The character's obviously under 10 years old, but you get it. Feed the little girl, pet her, take care of her. It's actually, um, believe it or not, there's a really gripping story here. This is the last human, and these AIs barely understand what's happening. They just feel like they have to do it. And, uh, I've actually been brought to tears at some moments in the story, so, you know, I don't want to belittle that. But it's nice you can just, oh, give the pats, head pats. It's a meme. Robot love girl. So you're kind of the cyber parent. So yeah, uh, other thing that you're doing here is you're crafting items. Which would be for setting up a terrarium to look different, but the main thing they do is give you permanent passive bonuses. So see, I could get 5 HP. And you'll start every level with these, so... As far as permanent build development goes, unlocking these and skills and uh, the uh, whatever it is you equip to affect your RNG. For instance, you get to get more attack passives or more defense. But uh, these are the core build increases, which you will need to get to higher levels. You won't be able to handle later dungeons if you don't do this. Again, for trophy hunters, there are trophies for making enough things. Now, she didn't quite starve by the time I hit the end of the level, so I don't have to care about her stomach capacity. That's funny, you can upgrade her stomach capacity. So you're looking for the things that are white, not green, because I've already made the green things. So I guess HP is what I want. That takes one, two, one resource. There's another one that takes six of the inorganic. I'm gonna go with the other one first. 
there we go. More HP. Just like that. Probably can't do the other one now. Oh, actually I have enough? No. Oh! I never found the metal rod. I thought I got all those items. Okay. Attack plus two. Cheap. I'll take it. So, I could probably take... make the thing that increases her stomach capacity. Again, that is hilarious. I don't know how the hell you would do that. This is not the best system here. I know, I know we could filter it, but... Huh. Well, I'll be damned. I swear there was one... Oh, okay, skill removal. I'm not sure what that does, but I'm gonna grab it. Okay, so then it's just the tall amp. Oh, here it is. And I can make it more stomach capacity. There we go. So now I need to get four inorganic units and find the metal rod in order to get that. Um, this may actually be the point where I'm done grinding to go to the next level because I'm not going to count on finding the metal rod and there's diminishing returns. You know, I can only get plus 5 HP, but if I go to the next level, it'll introduce new crafting items. Oh, she... That strawberry did not feed her all the way. Okay. I've never gotten to the point where she needed two pieces of food. Moss. Again, she don't know better. Let's see what face she makes. I've never really paid attention to that. I think the bunny is something I put it... Yeah, you put the bunny down and she plays with it. Sadly, she doesn't interact with the other things too much. She's got a bed. I think I've seen her lying before. Oh, jeez. Tough luck, kid. Too bad the robot doesn't know how to cook. Uh, interesting fun fact, moss is really good food. There's just a certain way to prepare it. And I think it mostly involves a smoothie. So yeah, that was one run. That is one run by a player that's too good at turn-based RPGs. I'm sure you could tell there was no chance in hell those enemies were going to beat me. Maybe if there had been a boss, I do hope they introduce larger, tougher enemies, mini-bosses, and like, you know, story bosses. But the main fun of this game, I feel like, is, um, exploration. And, and the numbers. If you're a numbers freak, these kind of games are where it's at, because you're calculating all manner of digits. I might make a video, yeah, you know, I think I will. I will make a video that shows redesigning your terrarium because this is kind of just whatever I randomly made at first and I haven't really played with it but now I have a lot more options. So that'll be a different video. Anyway, if you got this far, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. My channel is going to definitely have more video game content, though that is not the only thing I'm doing. I am formerly trained in the visual arts and uh, believe it or not, it's been over 15 years since I finished college, and I, I went into other things. But I've come full circle, and I'm going to be working in video. Video games are easy to make because my PlayStation... Or video game videos are easy to make because my PlayStation has options for that. And uh, my PC is just not ready yet. And I've heard it sucks editing on the phone, it looks crappy, so I don't want to mess with that. But I'm really close to getting the CPU running. So, um, if you actually watch this whole thing, please leave a comment, tell me what you like, what you didn't, what you'd like to see more of, what games you might like to see me cover, uh, you know, let me tell you if I interested you in this game, or if it looks just tedious, because I kind of feel both ways about it. Thanks for watching, and, uh, hopefully I'll, you'll be seeing my future videos. Peace.